Hola, hola, hola. Hello. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. And I'm here with a really exciting video for you this lovely Friday afternoon. I'm going to be filming a little tour of where I film my planner videos as well as my little craft corner where I store all of my planner supplies and my crafting supplies. I think this is going to be a really fun video for you all, so I hope you enjoy it. This video is for my girl Regina. Regina, thank you so much for being such a staunch supporter of my channel and of my content. It really means so much to me. Your comments are the kindest, the sweetest, the always perk my day up and just a huge thank you to you. God bless you, Regina. You are such an amazing soul and I can feel your kindness just like radiate through your words and just thank you so much. Anyway, Regina had requested a craft room tour and a tour of how I store my planners. So I am finally getting around to it and I'm excited to share how I have everything set up. I also honestly was kind of waiting for a couple of things to kind of fall into place in my craft corner and I finally feel like I'm ready to share my little space with you all. So just a quick little explanation of how I have things set up. I actually film all of my videos, well, most of my videos, like 99.9% .9 of my videos are filmed in my bedroom. I have a really low table that's sitting right in front of a big window in my bedroom and it's like the perfect space for me to film. When I'm not filming, the table is just like a nice bedside table. For the most part, I break down my filming setup as soon as I'm done filming and I put it away because I don't want to feel like I'm sleeping in a studio. I have a couple of planners stored in my bedroom closet. But the majority of my planning stuff is now in the room that me and my boyfriend share. Before my boyfriend moved into my house uh, like a few months ago, I actually only had one room to myself. My house is a four bedroom house and I had one room and I, have, I had three other roommates. One of my roommates moved out and my boyfriend moved in a few months ago and because me and my boyfriend obviously share a bedroom, we decided to have the spare room be our office slash my craft corner. And so I've been really, really, really enjoying like having a little bit more space for all of my crafting goodies because before I was just kind of like in my own a bedroom and I had to store all of my crafting stuff in my bedroom which I didn't mind but it was a little bit cramped especially since my room is pretty small. So I'm gonna flip the camera around I'm gonna give you a little tour of my bedroom and where I film the videos and then I'll walk you over to my craft room and dive deep into how I have all my crafting goodies stored nowadays. So let's get into it. Okay so this is where the magic happens. This table right here um, is a beautiful vintage like Japanese inspired coffee table. It's gorgeous. I got it at my local thrift store. This is where I film all of my videos. Um, I love it because it's low to the ground so it's easy for me to set up my filming situation on it and it also looks out into the backyard and I get to see all of my plants and all of my cactus and succulents so it's such a good place for me to film. It gets a lot of natural light and so it's just a really good place for me to film. When it comes time to film, what I do is I pull this table closer to the bed and I set up the filming situation, like the tripod, the extra lighting, um, my camera behind the, um, behind the table. And I kind of sit on my bed and I just um, film the video like that. I also pull out like a piece of scrapbook paper, which I actually have tucked behind this Japanese screen here. I'll pull out this piece of scrapbook paper, put it on the table so that that way, like the mirrored surface isn't like reflecting too badly in the video. But that's essentially how I film my videos. And the little drawers that I have here, I actually used to use the, those a lot more when I just was using my bedroom as both like my planner storage and my actual bedroom. But nowadays I don't use these um, drawers as much. This drawer over here does have some like stationary items and some, and this drawer has some like block pads in it, but mostly um, all of my crafting stuff is now in the office. And then I have my bed over here. 
And actually I am on the hunt for another Japanese screen to put on this wall because it's pretty empty. But whenever I find one, um, I'm gonna set it up there because this wall is pretty empty. And then on this side over here, I have my closet. Um, I have these mirror doors. And then I'm actually storing a bit of my planner stuff in my closet. So this is all of my pink outfits. And up here at the very top, I have like my luggage on this top shelf. And then here I have two like vinyl containers that store my classic planners. This one's full of classic planners and this one is like half full. And these are the planners I don't use very often, um, slash the ones I'm kind of saving for a rainy day. And so I have them stored up here. And then on the other side of the closet, I have actually more planner storage. This storage right here is where I keep all my big planners and it's pretty full. And then this one over here, I keep some big planners and some classic planners. And then over here, I just have some like lettering books, which I actually think I'm gonna move those over to my crafting office. And then this is actually a filled planner that I wanna take to my work office because I keep all of like my filled planners in my work office um, for sake of space. And at the very top here, I just have some acrylic paint in a like art storage box. And then I actually have a bunch of Pokemon cards from when I was young in this binder up here. But that is all I have in my, um, in my closet when it comes to planning things. For the most part, my room is pretty simple. I do share this bedroom with my boyfriend, so I do want it to be... Um, I don't want it to look like a crafting room because I want to be respectful of my boyfriend and I'm sure he doesn't want to feel like he's sleeping in a Michaels. So I try to keep my room pretty clean and simple. And then over here, I just have my altar and then a bunch of my books, a lamp over there. And then here I have my um, aquarium, which actually I turned it off because it's really loud. Well, it's not super loud, but the camera picks it up a lot. But let's go over to my crafting room now. Okay, so now I'm standing at the doorway of the office slash the crafting room and I love this space so much. I actually take up more space in the room than my boyfriend does. My boyfriend's a very, very minimal. And so this is his corner and he's happy with that. He doesn't have a lot of stuff and he doesn't want a lot of stuff. And this is where he sits when he's working. He has like a little um, dresser drawer set here and some other things over there. I always feel kind of bad because I feel like I'm taking up most of the room, but my boyfriend is super sweet and he told me not to worry about it. He actually keeps all of his clothes in this closet and anything he needs to store goes in here. And then for my crafting corner, I actually have two like sections to my crafting corner. You can kind of tell that they're separated by this like Japanese screen here. So this side, this left hand side is my little crafting corner. This is my happy place. And then over here, this little nook is actually my little cubicle for my home office. I really needed the separation between, you know, my fun crafting life and my serious work life. And so I set up this partition and it really helps me to focus, um, to be like in a little cubicle and to kind of put the blinders on and to get myself like in the zone. It really helps for me to have a little nook kind of dedicated to work and work only. Plus, whenever I take Zoom meetings, um, the Japanese screens like provide a nice background for me. So just a general overview of my workspace. I just have a nice um, floor lamp with some nice shelving space here. I got this at my Goodwill. It's super cute, very bright. It looks pretty and I love it. I have a little wastebasket there. Um, I have my fancy HP laser jet printer here and I actually have a little Gudetama plush on top of that. This printer is actually, um, I got it because first of all, I've been in the market to get a printer for forever and I print a lot of papers for work and so I needed a good printer. Also I've been printing my own stickers and so I wanted a really high quality printer to print out my own stickers and I've been having a lot of fun experimenting with printing my own stickers thanks to this printer. Next to that is actually my craft cart. This is the one thing that probably belongs in my craft corner instead of my office, but I really don't have the room for it in my craft corner and so I just keep it tucked under my desk here. 
It has a bunch of crafting stuff that I'm not necessarily pulling for all the time, so I just have it tucked in there. And then behind that, I actually have some like laptop carrying cases, and then I have a whiteboard that my roommate left behind and I didn't want to throw it away so I just tucked it in there because I really like whiteboards. I have one actually on my desk up there and so I figured if I ever need an extra whiteboard I could pull for that. And then over here this is a basket where I keep my backpack. This is the backpack I take to the office. It's super super cute. It's a actually a diaper bag and it has a lot of storage and it's really roomy and I love it so much and so I keep uh, my backpack stored in there and then I just have my little Japanese screens kind of creating this little nook the table um, my desk is actually a really really like simple like um, collapsible table that I got at Home Depot and I actually got it for like events and it, for whenever I needed to like have a pop-up table but it actually is the perfect height for a standing desk and i prefer to stand when i'm working um so that's why i don't have any chairs here because this is like exclusively a standing desk and then just for an overview i have my laptop my macbook propped up um with this laptop stand i actually just got this stand last week and i love it so much i just really really needed a laptop stand and i finally got it and then i have my monitor here it's on like a little paper holder thing um, which just allows me to store a bunch of like gadgets and knickknacks in there and um, i have my mouse my key uh, my, my mouse pad my beautiful keyboard which my boyfriend bought for me i love this thing so much um and then just here i have like a bunch of little things i have some beanie babies my little gouda tama case a stapler i have this gorgeous two-faced makeup bag um, where i keep my highlighters in and then down here i have a calculator um, a sticker book that I like to use for work, and then a passion planner. I've been playing around with passion planner um, for the last week and just experimenting with it. So I have that here, and I also have my pencil case. I have um, just um, a light here and then my whiteboard. I love my whiteboard so much. I love to like jot down notes or a schedule or what have you on this. I have a lot of whiteboard gadgets here. Um, a Valentine's Day card I got from Aldi. And yeah, I just have a bunch of things here. I have these like magnetic storage cases where I have like my laptop cleaner, my whiteboard cleaner, some sticker books, a bunch of expo markers. I have these like to-do lists that are magnetic. I have some magnetic like um, inserts from the Happy Planner. This is actually a weekly menu um, whiteboard. And then I also have like a weekly overview whiteboard up there. I just have some cute Rilakkuma magnets. So that is my little work session. Oh, and I totally forgot to show you. This is my planner. This is actually the cover from the work life planner. This is a big. Um, I found this at my local thrift store for like $2 and I snatched it up. It actually came with all of the planner guts. It was like the entire planner, but I took out the planner guts and I put in my own like work planner. So this is the Cozy Critters color block that I'm using for work. So I have that just sitting there on my work desk. And then moving from my office to my craft corner. Okay, let's start with this little like drawer set here. I love this thing so much. Um, first off, the top, I just love everything on the top here. It like makes me so happy to look at it. This guy is a male storage situation. I have a lot of stickers in here, a lot of stationery. These things are actually stuff that is like active stuff. I'm working on it. I actually have mail that I get you know, I bring in from the mailbox, I put in here, I have my sticker storage um, books, I have a bunch of extra stickers in there. And then here I just have a bunch of Mojo Jojo plans um, sticker books. These are her rainbow boxes. I got her rainbow bundle last year and so I just tuck them into this little um, container case. And then I have some fun pens over here. These pens are actually all empty, but um, except this one right here. Um, but whenever I have like a cute pen like this and then I finish using it, I just save it and tuck it into my little taza de barro here. Oh, so cute. I have some obsidian turtles, my pink Polaroid, a candle. 
And then over here, um, I have a bunch of planners. These are like some of my favorite planners. I have my little Beanie Baby ostrich guy, um, which is actually eyeless because my pug like loves to play with it and she pulls out the eyes. And of course, I have some cute little decor here. I have these cute little angel guys. My mom loves these and she collects them. And so I've gotten into collecting them too because they remind me a lot of her. <laughs> and so she has her collection. I have my collection and we just, um, we really bond over it. Actually, I only have two of these little angel guys. I've just started to collect them. And then I get them whenever I find them, like at my thrift store. And then for the planners, um, this is my Japanese journal here. It's in like a planner case. This is my gardening planner. This is my creative journal. This is just a Mickey Mouse planner. Um, I don't use it for anything right now, but I just like how it looks. So I have it in there. This is my um, budget planner. This planner is just filled with filler paper. And then this is the 90s planner. Um, yeah, I love this thing so much. It's so cute. I'm not using it for anything right now, but I want to use it one day. <laughs> this is my Cafecita Designs planner. Super, super cute. This is where I plan for like YouTube and for like setting up my own sticker shop. I have two notebooks here. This is my Animal Crossing notebook. Um, I got it at Target. And then this is my Hello Kitty moleskin. This right here, or these right here, are a bunch of my skinny planners. I'm not going to go through all of them, but they're super cute. And then I have my mini planner down here. And then for what's in my drawers here, this drawer is my happy planner um, bookmarks and envelopes. And then this drawer are my happy planner discs. This is where I keep my expander discs. This is where I keep my classic discs. And this is where I keep my mini discs. And I have color pencils back there. And then in this drawer, I have um, this is like actually my active project drawer. I'm setting up Valentine Day like bags for my friends and family this year. And so I have a bunch of like um, just like crafty things to help me set them up. So this, like the contents of this changes for whatever I'm working on. And then in here, I have a bunch of pencil cases of all different sizes. I love me a good pencil case. And then these drawers are actually um, empty. Don't have anything in there. Let me put my ostrich back. Okay, and then I kind of made a mess already <laughs> over here. Um, but usually when I'm not in my little planner space, I have my little stool kind of tucked into here. And I have my togepi sitting on the stool like that. So that's how things should look. Like it shouldn't be a mess, but it was a mess. Um, but this is how it looks. Um, and when I'm you know, in my space, I pull off my little togepi and I'm sitting on my uh, little stool here. I got this at my thrift store for like five bucks and I just sit in my little corner here. And um, I basically have like three planner carts on this wall. And then I have like a little table and like a work bench on this side right here. So this um, furniture piece is actually a glass TV stand. My roommate left it when he moved out and I repurposed it for my little crafting corner. And basically um, I have a bunch of scrapbook paper here and here. These are um, all of my scrapbook paper packs. These are the ones that are um, still unused. Whenever I use scrapbook paper and then I cut it, the part that's left over, I put into this um, box here. And on top of that is my Fisker paper trimmer. So if I pull this out and open it a little bit, you can see that there's like a bunch of paper in there and that's all like scrapbook scraps. So we have that there. And then on top of that, um, I have my washi tape storage. I got this at Michael's. This thing is amazing. I love it so much. It organizes my washi tape really, really well. And on top of that, this is the top of the TV stand. I have here my Franken planner. Um, this is actually another work life um, happy planner cover that I got at my thrift store and so I tucked in into it my happy planner Franken planner just because I want to protect the cover and then underneath that is my reading journal 
And then right here, this is my pencil case that I like to use on a daily basis. This is like my ride or die pencil case. It has everything that I like to pull for like frequently. And on the top of the TV stand, um, this is a wooden like artist easel. So this like top, it pops up like so. Um, and, ah, and I can like lock it into place like that and I can work on things kind of at an angle. But honestly, I don't use it like that too much. And whenever I'm like not working on something actively, I usually just have my flagship planner here just kind of open to the weekly page. So that way I can, you know, like write in it. I can just like um, drop by and like see what I need to do. This was my Valentine's Day spread. And I really like this artist easel because it has some storage down here on the sides. So whenever I wanna like work on something like on the top, on the tabletop, like I can just tuck this into here. And then for lighting, I actually have this ring light and this um, oat light. And if I want, I can turn both of these guys on and have a really, really bright surface to work on. Um, sometimes I'm just using the oat light and the oat light is um, adjustable or dimmable. I think both of these things are actually, they're both dimmable. So I can adjust the lighting as needed. And then tucked into here, I have my stress management planner and a clipboard. And then I have my super cute Mario Kart banana plush here. I love this thing so much. And then tucked underneath is um, a bunch of sticker books from the Happy Place planner they're in a nice little like wicker holder thing and these are the sticker books that i tend to use like on a daily basis or just more frequently like i have my fitness stickers um i have like my alphabet sticker book like these are the ones that i use the most often so i have them just like there on the side and then for the first craft cart here, this is my wicker craft cart. I have a bunch of happy planners here at the top. I love these. Um, I have my self-care journal. This is my daily planner. This is my faith planner. This is my grimoire. This is my fitness planner. And then this is just um, a planner filled with um, filler paper. And then here I have a little wooden um, pencil holder and letter holder. And I actually use this to store some of my like smaller, thinner sticker books. Like these are my Japanese sticker books. I have my scissors here close at hand. I have some undo, my crocodile, a cute little um, highlighter. And then I actually have my on the go planner that I tuck in here when I'm not on the go and some stickers. And then in the back here, I actually have my Cafecito Designs sticker storage case and a bunch of planners. This is actually where I'm storing some um, of my creative journal pages that I kind of wanted to move out of my creative journal. I have the Nightmare Before Christmas journal here. And I just have a couple of more planners. My Shy Guy plush, super, super cute. Um, underneath my Shy Guy plush, I have a bunch of my mini planners. So I have those tucked in there. And then for what's in my wicker craft cart, the first drawer is actually kind of empty. I just have some block pads in here. The second drawer is filled with sticker books. These are the ones that I'm trying to finish this year. They're the ones at the top, so I have those in there. And then the last drawer is just kind of like a random junk drawer, honestly. I have some color pencils, some stickers, some like stationery, some habit trackers. I have like a lock and my old phone in there. So yeah, that's kind of like a junk drawer. And then moving on to my rainbow cart here. Oops, I dropped my little Shy Guy plush. Oh well. But my rainbow cart, um, on the top of my rainbow cart, I have my Happy Planner planner like storage tote bag. And in that, I have my zip folios. And I also have this bag filled with my Valentine's Day stickers and scrapbook paper because I like keeping like anything that's seasonal close at hand. Um, I have a bunch of super, super cute like keychains on my zip folios. I love these things so much. And I have some more like um, cute little charms like on my tote here. This one's super cute. Um, and in the back here, I just have more stickers and a cute little Tokidoki fan. Oh, and then this right here is another planner storage tote. And this is where I keep a lot of my, my like meal planning, um, and recipe tracker, uh, planner supplies. This is kind of like my meal planning little tote. 
And I have my cute little Pooh Bear here. Super, super cute. And then for what's in the rainbow cart, I have a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, the first drawer is really, really random. It's most of my inks. I have glitter in here. I have stamps. I have Tombow refills in here for some reason. Um, the second drawer is paper packs. I have two paper packs in there. And then I have a bunch of stamps. I would say like most of the drawers in this rainbow cart are stamps. And I try to organize them, but the organization often gets out of hand. So this drawer I think is supposed to be seasonal stamps, but I think they're kind of mixed up at this point. And then I have more paper pads in that drawer. This is my like letter and number stamp drawer. And then I have just like random stamps in here. And then I have a bunch of like vinyl stickers in here. I found all of these at my local thrift store. So I have those tucked in there. And then I have more stamps in here. Um, more stamps in here. These are some of my larger stamps. So I have those tucked in there. And then the last drawer is, um, these are my floral stamps. So that's what I have in my rainbow craft cart and then i have my plush shy guy here hanging out as well and then the last craft cart that i have is a really classic craft cart this is like the mint the classic mint craft cart from michael's i have my cafecito designs tote bag just hanging from it because i love to see it and at the top of my craft cart, I have a bunch of my hardcover sticker books. These are all from Barnes and Nobles. I have my sticker studio books, my antiquarian sticker books, and my um, anthologies over here. And next to that, I have my larger Happy Planner sticker books. And tucked behind those are more Happy Planner sticker books. These are um, all of my Disney Happy Planner sticker books, as well as some of my like newer sticker books. And then tucked behind that, I have some some big happy planners and then for the second shelf here of this craft cart i have super cute my little beanie baby guys hanging out i love these guys so much and then this case right here is this huge pencil case i keep a lot of my pencils in here i have a lot of my micron pens i have my tombow brush markers i have a lot of gel pens highlighters um this is where i keep all of my pens and whenever I want to do some serious like brush lettering, handwriting, I pull for this case here. And then I just have a bunch of like random things in the back here. I have my gravy mushroom kit. This is my national park um, passport book. I have a notebook where I'm practicing Japanese in here. And I have some... Um, I think this planner is filled with filler paper. And then this is an undated planner and then i just have a 365 days of kawaii drawing book here and then for the last um shelf down here it's actually kind of empty this is my cafecito designs advent box it's super super cute i'm repurposing the box because it's adorable and it's actually filled with all of my zines i have a bunch of zines in here um so let me show you so in case you haven't heard of zines, zines are short for magazines and they're pretty much like grassroots, locally printed, small printed publications. And so I got a bunch of these at um, the San Diego Zine Fest. They're really, really cool. Um, but they're just a way for people who, nor who don't normally like, um, you know, have access to mainstream publishing. This is how people... Um, create their own um opportunities to like communicate and publish their ideas um but yeah i have a bunch of zines in here okay i put the box back had to use both my hands to do it so i had to put you down for a second but um Next to the box, I have my Happy Planner punch and two rulers, and I actually also keep my tripod that I use to film here as well, but right now I'm actually using it, so that's why it's not there. And that is pretty much the overview of my little craft corner. I love it so much. I guess the last thing that I have um, to show you here is this little planner tote. I got this at my local Goodwill for $12. It was such a steal. But basically, this is the planner tote that I um, take to like friends' places or if I'm going out and I want to take like a bag full of supplies. This is what I um, take with me. It's super, super roomy 
me it can hold a lot right now i usually have it filled with some of my more like artsy things if i want to do art um not necessarily like planner art but like just regular art um this is what i'll use so i have like my art notebook in here um where i do a lot of sketch work a lot of design work and then i also have some of my sketch pads this is a colored pencil pad um, i have a comic book sketchbook in here as well a botany coloring book and then what else do i have in here um, I also have this mixed media pad in here. I have some magazines for collage work, a sketch pad, and um, I think that's all I have in here for now. Uh, do you want to check out some zine pages that I worked on um, last weekend? I'll show you right now. Oh my gosh, okay, I had to pull everything out because everything was like falling off of my lap. But this is the first page here. I love it so much. It's just um, typical collage work and i made a couple of pages here oh this one this my this page my friend made it's so chaotic and colorful i love it and then i'm working on this page right here oh it's backwards so those are my zine pages i'm really excited about this and i can't wait to share this project with you all at some later point oh there's one last thing that i wanted to share with you um before i let you all go and that is this super super cute winnie the pooh like wall hanging that i just got from my local thrift store this morning i found it at my local thrift store it's hanging right above my little craft cards here and it's just a super super cute winnie the pooh um like wall hanging look at that it's adorable it is so cute when i saw that i knew it i knew i had to have it it's adorable super super cute i cannot with it anyway thank you so much for checking out this video i hope you enjoyed the whirlwind tour of my craft corner let me know what you think about it i would love to know and um, let me know if you have any other video requests from me and with that i hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe stay blessed and happy planning bye